poop. Dogs eat it, dung beetles roll it, and humans, we flush it. Once a day, twice, or if you're a chili lover, even more. But scientists are growing increasingly aware that this brown, sticky gunk is more than a bad smell. It houses important data that could save your life. So important, in fact, that it could prevent the next pandemic. China has identified the cause of the mysterious new virus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. There are fears a rapidly spreading virus has reached Australia. As it turns out, fecal matter matters. So what does your poo say about you? To gather health data about populations, researchers have started examining the poo present in sewage in what we call wastewater analysis. In principle, uh, wastewater analysis examines the fecal matter in sewage, uh, which reflects everything about your body, what you consume, how healthy you are, even what diseases you are susceptible to, and how your body will respond to them. The analysis of wastewater is based on health indicators known as biomarkers. So these are molecules found in our bodies and our poo that provides this information our overall health and well-being. Looking at the rates of these biomarkers in Swiss, it's unearthing a gold mine of data about population and community. Data about diets, data about diseases, even the rate of drug addiction. We can actually identify the rates of certain diseases in the community by looking at the disease biomarkers present in the wastewater. But how can wastewater analysis help us beat the next pandemic? In healthcare, early and accurate diagnosis means quicker and better responses, leading to higher rates of prevention and recovery. This is exactly why the wealthiest countries have spent billions of dollars on early testing for COVID infections. Taxpayers are paying for this burden. In the United States, for example, the cost of taxpayer-funded COVID detection has been estimated at $200 billion, diverting financial support from other parts of the economy. But is there a way to gather this information faster and more accurately? Better yet, can we do it at a fraction of the cost? The answer to this lies in wastewater analysis, according to Dr. Sanjeev. I think that is very much applicable to the pandemic right now that we are going through. The how we can extend the study from an individual house level to community level, for example, in a recent pandemic to do a PCR analysis of an individual in a society, it costs around $150. You multiply it with hundreds and thousands of tests we are doing every day and also every week. In contrast, if you're doing wastewater analysis, it costs $300 and you can get the information on the entire population. Comparatively, Wastewater analysis has an astronomically lower price of just $300 in total. That's a bare bottom price, if you know what I mean. But how does it work on a molecular level? Metabolites and viral RNA are detected from wastewater using instruments such as fluorescent spectroscopy, high-resolution liquid chromatography, mass spectrometry, along with digital PCR. Using these techniques, Researchers can identify specific molecules and flag for things like potential drug abuse patterns by identifying metabolites, viral outbreaks by identifying viral RNA, and biomarkers of various diseases for early diagnosis and response. The ability to discover this community data is a breakthrough that's changing the face of public health. Take medicinal and illicit drug consumption, for example. Existing tools like surveys carry subjectivity and bias. What I mean by that is we lie. Let's face it, would you honestly and voluntarily declare all the drugs you're consuming in a survey? Wastewater analysis eliminates this bias by accurately identifying the metabolites of any medicine or drug being consumed within the community. This form of analysis goes well beyond COVID-19 or drug use. Studies have highlighted its effectiveness in identifying Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's disease, and even antimicrobial resistance forming in a population. There are many pharmaceuticals being consumed, most importantly antibiotics are rapidly used, and if we don't control the consumption, it might lead to an antimicrobial resistance building up, and we may face another pandemic if we don't solve antimicrobial resistance. For governments and health organizations, wastewater analysis holds immense value, 
saving billions of dollars, enabling policymakers to track patterns of consumption and respond immediately to any threats. But the journey's just begun. We need these techniques to be funded, adapted and standardized. With government-aided initiatives, wastewater-based epidemiology can revolutionize global healthcare, making our future generations wonder why we ever depended on individual testing. So next time you go to the toilet, ask yourself, what information are you flushing away?